everyone. How are you all? This is the second video and second part of in continuation of statement of verbs list. In the previous video, I told you about the two list. List A as it's not specifically pledged and list B as it's specifically pledged. In this video, I will continue the same list with the list C which is preferential creditors. So after adding the list A and the surplus of list B, we will deduct the preferential creditor first. So the question arises, what is preferential creditor? Preferential creditors is the most important topic of this chapter and this list also. Preferential creditors are those creditors which is quietly needy people like governments, wages, salary, leave salary and workman compensation fund or any other funds. I have decided to teach you the preferential creditor in the separate video. Okay, so uh, in this video I will tell you the list C. It means after adding the list A and the surplus of list B, we will deduct the list C. So now we will deduct the preferential creditor of list C from the total of list A and list B. Okay. And after deducting, we will continue and the balance amount is used for the list B. And the list B is debenture holder secured by the floating charges. I will tell you the chronology. Chronology is first as it's not specifically pledged then plus surplus of list B, then deduct the list C preferential creditor if there is any balance that is used for the debenture holders. Okay, and the debenture holder is, uh, the balance after deducting the list C preferential creditor is used for deducting the amount of debentures secured by floating charges and it's along with it interest. Note only the debenture holder but it's interest also okay so after deducting the debenture holder and interest the next list which is unsecured creditors unsecured creditors the list a not specifically pledged list b specifically pledged adding and deduct the surplus from list c and balance is used for the debenture holder and after deducting the uh, debenture holder's uh, uh, amount which is uh, debentures plus interest the balance is used for the unsecured creditors unsecured creditors are those creditors which do not have any security or anything else so these are the last list of creditors and after deducting the unsecured creditors look the balance of assets after deducting list B Debenture holder amount is used for debenture the amount of unsecured creditors. Unsecured creditors is not secured by any security. That's why we call it unsecured creditor. And after paying the unsecured creditor, the balance of list A and list B is used for the owners of the company. And who are the owners of the company? There are two owners of the company, preference shares and equity shares. But uh, before paying the equity share, we have to pay the preference share first because the name itself says we are preference. And the next list is preferentials. List F, preference share. After paying the list uh, E, the balance amount is used for the preference share order. And if there are any balance, hashtag. If there is any balance, only that we can pay the preferential holder. And after paying the preferential holder, if there is any balance, then we will use it for the equity share holder, which is the next list, list G. Okay, so list G is the last list of shareholder. First two list A and B for assets. And uh, C, B <coughs> and E is for the creditors and list uh, G, uh, F and G for the shareholders and list H after deducting all if there is a balance amount it is called 
surplus and if there is no if we are not able to pay the equity shareholders or uh, the preference shareholder the balance amount is called deficiency and deficiency the another name of deficiency is unpayable amount then the deficiency is another uh, new topic i will tell you the deficiency in the next video thank you guys learn from home stay safe bye bye take care